guys, Megan Mitchell here, and today I'm competing in PepsiCo's Game Day Grub Match. I'm going up against Frankie and Josh. I cannot wait to crush them. I will show you how it goes down. Let's do this. How's it going, guys? Welcome to the PepsiCo Game Day Grub Match. I'm your host, Jet Tila. You guys ready to do this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like Josh a lot. I think he's some intense competition. I think Frankie's amazing. He has some killer skills in the kitchen, so I'm kind of nervous. You're gonna have 30 minutes to create your best game day dish. You're gonna have to use at least two PepsiCo products. The theme of the challenge will be food inside food. And you're gonna be judged on taste, presentation, and creative use of your PepsiCo products. And your judges are celebrity chef and restaurateur Ann Burrell, former Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver and Super Bowl 40 MVP, Heinz Ward, and PepsiCo executive chef, Stephen Colito. The winner of the PepsiCo game day grub match is going to Super Bowl 51 in Houston, Texas. Yay! So before we get cooking, we're gonna play a really fun tailgating game, Cornhole. The winner of the game is gonna get an advantage in the challenge. I'm gonna give you four bean bags. The person with the most amount of bean bags in the hole is gonna win. Let's, let's do, do this. Okay, let's right. go. Josh, why don't you go first? Right? Ooh. That would have been a point in real Focus. life. Yeah, oh. one. Two. Oh. Two for wow. Josh. Megan. Oh, I'm nervous. Ah. It was close. There it is. Okay, you lose. Oh, good job, one, no. two, good. You got one. very good. You ready to go? <laughs> wow. Not wow. bad. Wow. Not bad. Come on, both of these need to go in. One, there we yeah. go. And the back. Ah. Yes. Oh. That's it. Congratulations, Josh. Yeah. You've won oh. this yeah. with two what? bean bags. <laughs> Josh, you get a five minute head start. That's right. So you're all going to shop the PepsiCo pantry and then head into your kitchens, but the two of you have to do nothing but pout for five minutes until I tell you you can cook. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Go! You guys can be as quick as you want nacho here. Nacho cheese, you know cool ranch. Nacho I mean, cheese, we, cool ranch. Ah, uh, nacho cheese, cool, I'm going nacho. <laughs> it's always a question, right? I feel like I'm Beans. going with the healthier. Or fry. All right, Megan. Hi. So you're stuck for five minutes? Yeah. I'm nervous, I'm excited, I want to start cooking. You're blowing it, Josh. You this wish. five minutes is not helping you at all. You wish. So I'm a little nervous because I think this is Josh's jam. Like, he puts stuff inside other stuff and then wraps it in stuff and then, like, puts it on something and then it goes somewhere. Like, I feel like this is his thing. You got a five minute head start. Yep. What are you making? All right, so we're taking the idea of a corn dog. Right. I'm pumping it with steroids. What is I know, going what? On this here? is not allowed. How's your five minute penalty going? It's not a five minute penalty, it's a five minute extension, which you need. Wow, <laughs> oh, I see fired. what's up. All right, man, good luck. Thank you. All right, that's been five minutes. That means Megan and Frankie, you may start your cook. Worst five minutes of my life. When I got into the kitchen, I decided to make an ice cream sandwich. So you get the ice cream inside the cookie. This is actually really cool because this freezes and then I blend it up in a food processor and it becomes like soft serve. I had 30 minutes to cook. I know it's a little ambitious to make an ice cream sandwich, but I knew I could do it. Looking for a little crunch and a lot of flavor here. What are you making? Doritos and eggs in purgatory. What's your purgatory? Quaker Oats. I can't wait yeah, yeah. to try this. Lay down the bacon. Like I'm putting food inside of food, inside of food, inside of food. That's like taking this challenge to a whole other level. I love oatmeal cookies. You gotta step outside the box. Put these in the oven. I like to have something sweet on game day. All right guys, only 10 minutes left in this cook. You have 10 minutes to finish up your dishes. Yeah, right? They're not making fires. That's a cheesy mix. Let's pop them in. This is like five minutes out. Five minutes to go hang out with Frankie. Just see what he's doing. Ooh, this smells so good over here. I think you might win this one. Is this some ploy? What is, what's the, you what's the catch? You don't think I'm a nice human being. Do you think I just like come over here to mess with you? I did nothing. That color right there, incredible. Nice and frozen. I was a little worried that my ice cubes wouldn't freeze in time, but they did and they blended up beautifully. So, whew. Look at these babies, they're ready to come out. Five minutes, guys, five minutes. How are you doing, Josh? I'm okay. Falling apart a little bit. They fry for about a minute, 
Hopefully it all stays together. You're so calm. I really like Am I? I'm just not letting that that affect me, you it's know? It's okay. How can that affect you? I mean, in your face. <laughs> right, let's check it. Look at that. All right, guys, 30 seconds left in the cook. Start thinking about plating. Start thinking about plating. Start thinking about pulling it out of the oven. Last one. It's coming down to the wire. Oh, I need to plate. Stop That's down. the whole thing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands up. Plates down. Your cook is over. All right, team, so it's time for the judging. I've only heard good things about Amberelle. I know she is a stickler when it comes to good food, so I knew she would be kind of hard to win over. Megan, tell the judges what you made. I made a oatmeal cookie ice cream sandwich. So I used Quaker Old Fashioned Oats in the cookie itself, and then I used Naked Juice. I froze it down and blended it into an ice cream. Huh. I'm really excited. I think I'm gonna do pretty well. I love my dish. I think the cookie is delicious and the ice cream is something unique and different that I don't think the judges have seen before. Megan, you got something there. That was pretty tasty. Thank I, you. I like it. Thank and you. I'm a naked juice fan. Oh so good. This is awesome. Thank you, thank you. And I think the use of the Quaker oats and the naked juice was great. Thank you. Um, my only tiny little bit of a critique. But the cookies are very thick, and so that when you go to bite the cookies, it like it makes you squash the ice cream out. And I'm like, right. I know I want it all together. Right. Totally. Chef Steven, your personality really shines through this one. Oh, thank you. Um, I love. It's a little gift. <laughs> I think the use of an oatmeal cookie to sandwich ice cream made from the naked is absolutely inspired. Next up, Josh. Judges, this is my third down dog. I'm calling it the third down dog because there are three meats inside of it. I used crushed up Doritos and crushed up Cheetos as the crust on the outside. I also uh, made a pomegranate and blueberry Tropicana barbecue sauce as the drizzle on top. Wow. I have to say, there is a lot going on here. I mean, like, what's not to love with all that stuff there? There's definitely gonna be none of this left after, after the party. <laughs> I love what you did to the barbecue sauce. It tastes really good. Very well done. You gotta have this at a Super Bowl party. <laughs> I loved it. I love the taste, but the bacon. I mean, when I when I cut into it, I I thought my bacon wasn't done, so it kind of I kind of peeled it away a little bit. All right, Frankie, tell us what you made. Egg and purgatory inside of Quaker oats. So I made the Quaker oats with a little bit of milk and some cherry tomatoes and even a little bit of maple syrup. Egg goes in crushed up Doritos in the middle, more oatmeal on top, and some crushed up baked Lay's. I like what you were trying to do with it. Uh, I felt like it was a little too bland. I mean, think Super Bowl party. I agree. I mean, I don't know how this really fits in to a Super Bowl party, but the idea of it, I kind of love. I think that's very creative. Thank you very much. Frankie, first of all, kudos to you for looking at oatmeal as a savory execution. And I will disagree with both my colleagues at this table. I will be inviting both of you to my Super Bowl party where I will be serving Frankie's eggs in purgatory. The uh -huh. only difference is I'm gonna be serving it to you the next morning when you're picking yourself up for. Right, okay, <laughs> there we go. It's the morning after Super yes. Bowl party. Okay, I like that one. I wasn't sure that I was gonna win. I mean, both their dishes looked delicious and incredible and amazing and I wanted to make them proud. I hope I did. Well, judges, thank you very much. Can you please tally up your scores? All right, judges, please reveal your scores for Frankie. 22, pretty good score. Thanks, yeah. Not so bad at all. All right, so next will be Josh. Please reveal your scores for Josh. Mm. Wow, one point. 22, 23, Megan, that means you need to beat. 23 to win. All right, judges, please reveal your scores for Megan. Oh, oh you guys! Oh, wow. Thank you, thank you. Amazing, yeah. a perfect, perfect score of 30. That's amazing. Megan, that means you just won the PepsiCo game day grub match, food and food. It was incredible to win. It was surprising and exciting, and it's a great feeling. Ah, ah, ah. Great job. And for more recipes, go to gamedaygrubmatch.com.